Hi everyone, this video begins our journey into all things audio and live streaming with vMix. Audio is one of those things that can often be neglected in live video production and streaming. So, actually in fact we don't have many audio tutorials for vMix, so we're to blame for it as well. Now these videos will try and cover the basic audio functionality in vMix like adding sources, changing settings, and some of the different audio features that we have. Firstly, we'll take a look at different audio equipment that you can use in your live video. These videos will cover live audio sources like microphones, but not MP3s or WAV files. We have a video in the description if you would like more information about that. Now, if you just started out in live video, chances are you're going to want to let your audience be able to hear what you're saying. Uh, it's great to have really good video quality, but if no one can hear what you're saying, it makes the whole process a little bit more difficult. Now today we're going to cover four ways that you can bring in live audio into your video production. Now there are probably more ways to do this, but we're just going to look at these four. Firstly, we're going to look at embedded audio. Now most cameras will have a microphone directly built into them that allows you to bring in audio from the camera. Now this is known as embedded audio as the video and audio will come across one cable, for example, an SDI, HDMI, or USB cable. On the very simplest level, a USB webcam will have microphone capabilities and allow you to add the camera and audio directly into vMix over the USB cable. Now this works the same for consumer or professional cameras that have embedded microphones that you can use with your video. For example, uh, this Canon here has embedded microphones on it that you can use with the audio and this Sony one does as well at the front. Now some cameras take the embedded audio a little further and allow you to actually add a microphone connection directly to the camera. For example, this Sony camera has an attachment that goes on the top that actually allows you to add multiple XLR microphones to it. Uh, as you can see here, we've actually got a shotgun mic that plugs directly into the camera. Now this ups the quality of your audio because you can actually bring in much higher quality microphones. And these shoes actually have additional audio control on them as well. So this audio will come in the exact same way as your embedded audio if you were using the microphone that's built on the camera. Uh, it just provides better quality. Now some other cameras might have a 3.5mm jack that allows you to add a microphone attachment as well. Now this will again will come across SDI or HDMI just like the inbuilt mic. But if you've, especially if you've got an additional attachment, you'll have better control and quality. Using embedded audio means that the video and audio should arrive at the same time. So when you're sending that uh, signal over your HDMI or SDI cable, the audio and video uh, will be in sync. So you won't have to worry about adding an audio delay. But again, check your camera to make sure. With embedded audio, you don't actually add it as an audio source. You add it alongside the camera. So in order to do that, you just need to go to add input, then go to camera and then select the camera source here. Now you notice down the bottom here for this camera we've got to this capture card, it says enable audio, so we tick that box and then from the audio input we can select something from the drop down menu here and that will bring the audio in. If you have something like a webcam, the audio enabled tick box might not be here, it'll just say audio input and then you can select the webcam's microphone. So we're just going to click OK here. Now as you can see, our uh, camera, camera microphone, microphone is now, now coming, coming through, through this camera, camera here, here. Uh, and so, so that, that is how, how you set up, up turn that off that is how you set up embedded audio in vmix from your camera next up we're going to look at usb microphones now if you want to start using independent audio that's not embedded directly into your camera you can look at using a usb microphone instead now these are cost effective and provide good quality audio for your live video productions there are a lot of different models available on the market, with some popular brands being Rode, Blue, Samson, Shaw, Audio-Technica, just to name a few. Now I'm actually using a Blue Yeti microphone uh, for this tutorial, and we use them a lot for recording tutorials and doing live stream and that type of thing. So they provide pretty good quality audio, um, and they're easy to add and easy to use in vMix. So on my left here, I actually have another USB microphone and it's an Audio Technica. So now I'm going to show you how to add that directly into your vMix production. So what I'm going to do right now is switch to my desktop. 
and we're going to go to add input and then we're going to go down to audio input. Now this is where you're going to add most of your live audio sources. So from the drop down menu I'm going to select the ATR which is the Audio Technica microphone and then I can add it into vMix. Now there's a box here that says mute in headphones and we're going to go over headphones on a later tutorial in vMix um, for these videos. So we'll click OK and as you can see uh, the microphone is now plugged in and it's now being picked up on my production but I'm just going to close that down. So that's how easy it is to add a USB microphone into vMix. Now as USB will bring your audio into vMix quicker than your camera, you're going to need to add a delay to your audio. Now typically we select an 80 millisecond delay when we're adding USB audio and this can be done in the settings. So I'm going to really quickly show you where the um, delay is. So each of your audio settings has a little gear icon here and it has a delay. So as you can see we've selected an 80 millisecond delay for this USB microphone here. Now I'll go into the settings in a lot more detail in one of the later videos. USB microphones are really good. Um, you'll notice that a lot of people use them for live streaming. Uh, we use them a lot. Uh, so they're really good for bringing independent and good quality audio into your production. And they're relatively cheap as well. There's many on the market that are under $100, if not less. Next up, we're going to look at USB audio interfaces. Now, if you want to start using higher quality microphones that typically use an XLR connection, you could possibly take a look at using a USB audio interface. These devices will convert the high quality XLR microphone to a digital audio signal that's sent to vMix over a USB cable. These products will allow you to add multiple microphones into your live production and then use the vMix audio settings to mix the level and adjust the audio. There are a few brands that make these including Behringer, Focusrite, Newmark, Roland. Now I have a, a Focusrite one here which has a two input. Uh, for our studio we actually use the Behringer UMC404 and that has four XLR connections that we can add directly into our vMix production. But there are a whole different range of products on the market. Now vMix supports ASIO audio which means that you can bring in multiple channels of audio. Now adding the audio interface is slightly different to a USB microphone so we're going to quickly show you how to set that up now. Now from the add input menu I go back to the audio input section and then from the drop down I need to select the ASIO driver. So we're using a Behringer UMC so we need to look for the UMC ASIO driver. Now if you've installed one of these interfaces and you don't see a driver like this, you may need to download it from the website and install it from your manufacturer. I'm just going to select it. Now we have two microphones plugged into one and two and they're mono so we're going to select number one. Now and we'll click OK. So as you can see that's just been brought into our production. If we wanted to add more we can go into audio input and then we could select the driver again and then select the second microphone. So as I'm showing you now we have the two microphone packs that we use for wireless microphones plugged into the Behringer UMC and we're using number one and number two for our productions. Now if you were using stereo sources for your, for your audio, um, when you in vMix you could select this in one and in two and plug them into one and two and then three and four to get that two channel stereo. However, typically with these microphones you want to plug them in port one, select number one for your audio channel and number two. So we're going to close this down now. Again, as this is a USB connection, the audio is probably going to come through quicker than your video so you need to select a delay on that. Now, like we showed you before, typically we set this to an 80 millisecond delay when adding our USB audio interfaces. Now, each of these methods uh, for USB microphones and the interfaces are bringing in unmixed audio. So, uh, it means you may need to make some adjustments to them like the audio delay that we showed before. Now, each audio source in vMix has its own audio settings. By clicking the icon like we showed before with the gear, we can go through and we can make changes to things like the delay, um, the gain control, we can add plugins, equalizer, compressor, noise gate, and that type of thing. So we'll be going over the audio settings a little bit more detail on the next videos. Now the final method today that we're going to be looking at is using an external audio mixer. Now an audio mixer will allow you to input a completely mixed audio source into your 
um, vMix production. Now you could use this for your master audio, so you, you grab multiple microphones and multiple uh, audio sources, mix them all together, and then use that combined with your vMix video to create you know, a master um, video and audio together. But you could also add it as an input as well. Now you've probably seen large mixing desks that allow you to connect microphones, instruments, and other live video sources. So um, these mixers allow you to actually professionally mix the audio levels to create the most professional audio that you can get. Once you've mixed all the audio sources, you can bring that into vMix via USB. So we have one here. Uh, we have a, a, just a, a small mixer here. And at the back here, you can actually plug that in as a USB cable, and you can actually plug that into um, your computer and add it as a source into vMix. Now you'll be doing this exactly the same way as we did with the USB uh, and the audio interface. You'll just go through and you'll go to add input and then go and add it as an audio source. Now depending on how the mixer works, uh, you may need to add a delay to it, you may not, but that's something that you'll just need to check with your video. So those were four ways to bring in live audio into your live video and streaming production with vMix. Now there are a lot of different ways to do it uh, and they obviously have different budgets and different quality as well. If you're looking to purchase one of the items I mentioned, definitely have a look online beforehand to make sure that it has great reviews or perhaps borrow one from a friend or see if you've got an old one lying around in your cupboard that you could possibly try out with your production. So in other videos in this series, we're going to go through basic audio setup in vMix um, and how you can adjust the settings and also the different features that you might find. Now, if you have any questions or anything about audio, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out any videos mentioned in this tutorial in the description below. If you'd like to keep up to date on all the latest things with vmix, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on all the social media. You can find us at vmixhd.